<laughs> yeah, what we not what we not gonna do here. We're not going to do a, uh, let me see, we're not going to do here, if we're not going to do an unboxing, that's not, not, not necessary, we need a thousand unboxes, that's not necessary right now, what we're going to look at between these two beasts, and arguably my two favorite brands, uh, <laughs> one top, my top, they in my top, they up there. These, yeah, these two, and other ones. Are, these two, they've been with me all my life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been with Kicker forever. See, I was the first Kicker and Fall Game Amps that would start me in cardio. And uh, these are the designs I was wearing way back in the 80s. Now that I'm running them and, and see their performance, I'm definitely in them. So these two came out of Oklahoma. They are the... Uh, if if Las Vegas now is the home of where all the cardio distributors are and stuff, the heartbeat of America, like they said on Chevrolet, is Oklahoma City. And Kicker has released his Solo X that we've been waiting on for the longest. Y'all gonna see that on the live show tonight. So come on the live. We'll talk and discuss it, hear people's stories, and go over uh, the the sub. I mean, it, it looks. It is an intimidator. I mean, as y'all can see, this boy is, I want to keep it in plastic so the motor won't get damaged, nothing like that. You know, so the owner actually gets it. And this is for a customer who bought the 95 Series 12. So as y'all can see, by looking at it, read the comments, baby. Uh, go and get your phone, read the comments. I'm talking. I'm gonna keep this 15 minutes. As you can see, it kind of looks like the motor on the kicker is bigger. Yeah, the motor on the kicker. Yeah, it is bigger. It's definitely bigger. What I will notice is that on the 95 series 12s from Dizzle Designs, even the 3500 series, because the 35, 95s, and 99s all have truth in sizes. So their cutout is, I think the digital designs cutout is 12 and 5 sixteenths, if I'm not mistaken. Well, if it's 12 and 5 sixteenths, and this is 11 and 1 sixteenths, you can actually put this square inside this cutout. So you can put, the cutout is the same as the Q class, 11 and 1 sixteenths. 11 and 1 sixteenths. Square can fit inside a 12 and a quarter inch hole. Now, what does that mean? Well, against this particular 12, it's not going to be that much more coronary difference. In fact, there is going to be no coronary difference. It's probably going to be evenly matched. Once you factor in and take away the losses for half of the surround, it's probably going to be equal in the amount of air they're moving with the current 95 series 12. You are going to get, now, this woofer will have the edge, in my opinion, against those who use the traditional 11.1, 11.09 cutout, because then that square is equal to that roundness, but then you get the extra corners where this is going to have the cone area advantage because 11 inch cutout and 11 inch uh, square is the same except the square is going to have on the corners he's going to have more ability to move air 20 percent larger not necessarily when you go against the digital design you go of course people go oh no that's not true well if it's not true uh let's that's that's let me let me let's understand math <laughs> let's understand math okay so digital designs we're gonna go to the 99 99 and the subwoofers. Can they hear me, baby? They hear me loud and clear? Okay. Let's go to the 95 Series 12. Because I'm not using the microphone right now. I'm using the uh, earbuds for ear hearing. So, let's go here. The cutout on the 95 Series 12. Mountain dam is 12 and 3 sixteenths of an inch. Well, you can put a 11 and 1 16th inch square inside a 12 and 3 16th inch 
whole. You're going to be able to put that square in there relatively easy. Uh, the motor size is bigger. Uh, both of them have a three-inch voice coil. Well, the kicker has a dual space spider. Uh, the DD has a relatively larger space spider with bigger rolls, but they have smaller, more compact sp sp spiders. But anyway, it's 30, still 30 millimeters X Max. And I believe the X Max on the, is it, yeah, the X Mechanical, the X Max here is 22. So actually, you are moving what they have listed further with here. And with they being basically the same in cone area, he may be, he's able to be roughly the same cone area as this 12 inch cut out. They're kind of comparable match. They comp comparable much on paper. Now, I haven't heard them <laughs> to actually see how much force is going to be generated, how much force is being moved. But let's say that's the only we do know this about Kicker, and we do know they're doing this about them boys out of Oklahoma. They don't play no games. They ain't playing no games. He when he this this re, last time I was in the loop with the kick, and I would tell y'all down a lot of night. He was on the twenty seventh revision, and Steve had sent it back on twenty seventh revision. So I don't know what re, revision this is before he finds it. Okay, it's good to go. Let's bring it out. So uh, I need no unboxing. Nothing. It's just something y'all can see a side by side comparison. Try to get a little closer. Let's get a little closer. Are you actually see? Yeah, man. <laughs> Thanks. Shouts out to the customers. Yeah, so you can actually see the size between now the ninety-nine series twelve motor probably be comparable in size to this. Let's come on down, so let's try to see some. Yeah, look at that there. Hmm. This is a 95 Series DD, 95 Series 12. Again, solo kickers. First foray into the, I would guess, back, no, not first foray, the second foray into the SPL gear market. It's made, this wolf is made to do one thing get very, very loud. It's going to sound good by doing so, but get very, very loud. I can't get it. No, I doubt you're going to be able to get it for 600 It's 699 brother. Yeah. Let's look at the back. Mm. That's really going to show you that you be able to see the motor size when you look at the back. Come on over here, boy. Yeah. Both these manufacturers, no expenses spared. To get that stellar performance. Now there is a specific price difference. Uh, this is six ninety nine. Whereas the price of this ninety five series twelve is ten. Is is it's ten is ten stacks. I mean that's ten 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 bills. It's a thousand. So well, why how is kicker for those of you who, who like kicker? How is able to kicker to be able to come in at that price point? Well, let's understand something about kicker. How many minutes will be on the video? Eight minutes? Yeah, let's put this. Ooh, Lord, I got to put this boy up. <coughs> Man, you big. You working out. Yeah, you work out. You lift all these, these big subwoofs. I be ordering for people from different manufacturers. For people to buy big setups. You going to have some size on you. <laughs> he was he was ain't coming in light. Now, with that being said, this is a very great price point for this level of technology. Seven hundred dollars for a kicker, and that's what people scream clamoring about the price. They say, "Man, seven for a kicker, twelve? Yes, the performance is the performance. I don't care if you don't like the brand. The performance level is there. Uh, seven hundred dollars. Where his his competitor, those that's in his the the ones that are the ones that are competing against the subwoofer, or let's look. Uh, oh, you got a thousand there. 
I'm not going to call no names. But it's a cutthroat world out there in this cardio industry. Don't get it twisted. And Kicker has a lot of money. So to bring that subwoof in at that price point, it's going to shock up the industry for this is basically a lot of competitors. uh, Kicker is at least two to three hundred dollars cheaper. And that's just the facts. And no, not comparison to, to uh, I know some of y'all going to say, what about Scar? He ain't cheaper than Scar. Scar ain't got nothing to go get in that boy bid. I'm just sorry. That, that's the that's entry level, performance level at best. Uh, even with, especially the SPL circuits we got going here today. They do all right, but they not going to be needing or do nothing like this. Uh, you definitely going to get William Gage design your boss for him to try to compete. <laughs> in my opinion. But you ain't gonna do nothing like this. Let's look at some other subwoofers in in that it's in that SPL category price range and see what we get. Like uh, you definitely ain't this price range. Uh no. Uh you got a T three up here. Uh you definitely ain't this price range either. Uh I ain't gonna pick on nobody, but let's see. Oh man, let's see. Let's see who's being a price range. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I know you gotta get a T three. He costs about nine hundred dollars. He's seven hundred. Uh and I ain't gonna, I'm not talking about Scar, but the wolf is that that compete in his with his performance level. And his performance level, uh, they're about nine, eight hundred dollars. So it's two, three hundred dollars cheaper. Man, that thing look. Look at this. Lady, did you see it on the picture, baby? The thing looks like a spaceship, huh? It, it. I'm standing behind it. It looks. Oh man, look at this. I'm actually. This is a trick of the camera. So if I actually get a little closer, y'all see it. Have, yeah, it's a trick of the camera, but uh. Let's look at another company that might be. Let's look at another company that. Let's go to their website. Let's go to their subwoofers. Let's go to their price point. Okay, you say that's that's close to his price point. Okay, he's okay. They starting at that price point. Now I want you to understand something. This 2,000 watt power rating that they put on here, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say it one time on. This wolfer had to endure 100 hours of armist power. That is three and three quarter days. Now, I want you to understand something. Most of the revisions past 15 were able to do that. Most of the revisions past 15, I left trying to follow at 27. So most of the revisions past 15 were able to do that anyway, $100 to test it. So each revision that he that came out had to do $100 of, t- of testing, $100 of testing, just for Steve to say, no, nah, that ain't it, that ain't good enough. Scratch it, do it again, change this. <laughs> that's That's how much... Have went in, has went into this. This is the most anticipated twelve ever. Most anticipated twelve ever. How many minutes we got here? Because I want to keep it at fifteen. How many minutes is that, baby? On that screen. Right fifteen. Fourteen. Most the wolves in this guy's performance level range in price from eight hundred to eleven hundred dollars. He comes in at 700. See, he's able to do that because money is not an option. He can buy so many in bulk, he can lower the price. It's a game changer. It's a shock up for the industry. Watch me on live tonight, man. I'll do some more talking, man. I'll do some more talking. If you need a box for one of these boys, mm, please contact me on 404-694-4818. And as always, please listen responsibly.
I see why everybody clamoring about this thing. You might as well, because you're going to see him in the lane. You don't see him in the lane. I mean, like a UFO. Superman is back. Peace.